Okay, we're uh, at a local church where I live. I've got a painting project and a few other things to do. But this is where I started at today on Monday. Is these uh, handrails. This one hasn't had anything done to it yet. Um, they're rusty, peeling paint. Uh, you gotta sand them and wire brush it down. I've got a wire wheel to put on the drill, but you can see uh, all this green handrail has to be painted. This one has nothing done to it, like I said. This one over here has been uh, wire wheeled, wired, brushed down, whatever, and we have the primer on it. This is a rust inhibitor type primer that bonds to rust and uh, prevents, helps prevent rust from popping back up or bleeding through again. Um, this top edge, I've painted that, um, but you can see it was pretty uh, bad compared to what it is now. And we've got some other handrails on the other side of the church. Uh, it's a fairly large building and I've got some doors that we're going to refinish or repaint. One of them's peeling pretty bad. But this handrail here, this, this one's complete. It looked like the one, uh, the first one with all the rust on it. You can still see it's a little rough, but it's fairly smooth down. I sanded it and uh, it's got three coats of paint on it. So. That's what we're doing on the Skidmore Family Farm today. Painting at the church. Like I said, I'll do some videos of the doors and I think we got some windows that we're gonna replace. And over here in this courtyard, there's like 10 downspouts or eight downspouts from the gutters. And this is flooding the corner over here. Uh, you can see by the bench right over there, that corner um, it's a fairly heavy corner. You can see how big the roof is, but it, it's washing out and it's settling. The foundation settling, so uh, we're gonna try and get some drainage going on in there. Put a trunk line down the middle here, and then tie in each downspout to like a six inch. We'll go from four to six. Uh, on the main line and then we're going to take it over to the street over here uh, about where that tree is on the other side of that and tie it into the sewer or not the sewer but the um, the water runoff basically drains whatever you want to call them but I'll get some other video of the projects we got going on here Okay, I just wanted to give you a little update. We're back at it, painting at the church, prepping these handrails. Uh, you can see I've primed the outside edge. But this is kind of what it looks like. I've already sanded it and all that, and I've started priming it. We had delay for the rain. Last Wednesday I had to, I had other plans, had stuff to do, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday it rained. Sunday was Easter, so it's Monday and we're back at it. We got sunny weather and uh, just about got this one ready to paint. I got to spray this half here that you see, the outside half is sprayed or primed, uh, and then it'll be ready to paint. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update so you can see the the difference between primed and unprimed. You can, sorry, I'm moving around too fast. These handrails were really rough. I sanded them, wire brushed them. Um, the only way to really get it much smoother would be to sandblast it down or powder blast it. But that's a pretty big expense. I'm just cleaning it up so it won't peel again and it'll be have a little bit of rough texture but 
Um, should be good for quite a few years with this primer. This is a rust inhibitor and it uh, also bonds to rust. I think it makes like a chemical reaction with the iron. So when it when you prime the rust, it actually uh, makes it stronger when the primer's on rust from what I gather. It's a Rust-Oleum product. Um, they're pretty good. I uh, know it's cheap, it's just a spray can, but it's uh, I've never had any problems with it, so I just go with it. It's a lot cheaper than uh, industrial commercial paint. I would have spent more on paint if I would have went with industrial or commercial paint. I would have spent more on that than uh, probably the whole project altogether with what up my labor and the materials. So, that being said, I'm just trying to give them a little bit of a deal. Well, we've just about wrapped up the handrails. This is the loading dock and kitchen exit handrails. I'm not sure how good you can see them, but kind of overcast and I'm getting a lot of glare on the screen but I think you can get the gist of it Maybe we can see it a little bit better and these were peeling and had rust all over them this one here I stripped about 95% of it down to bare metal um, because it was peeling and so rusted this one over here wasn't quite as bad. I left some of it on. It didn't have as much rust on it, but it was peeled. So I just kind of lightly sanded it. But as you can see, you got it just about wrapped up. I got one more small handrail over by the office. And this is the same church. It's uh the one that I showed you earlier, the front uh, entrance to the church on the handrails I did up there and they were just chipped really bad and I think they were just poorly prepped when they were originally painted. But you can see that these, uh, like I said, this was peeling and had rust all over it. I had to use a uh, etching primer with rust inhibitor and two coats of really good paint and then a, a touch up on the paint come back and hit the light spots but it turned out pretty good